Caroline, how are you all doing? I hope everybody is doing well. And I am coming to you today with another book. And here is my book. Do you see it? It says, I prayed for you. And I think this is a wonderful book. Moms and dads, you might want to get a tissue because you might need it, okay? It's such a cute little book. And um, so it says, I prayed for you, but that makes me wonder, what is praying? Do you know what praying is? What do you think praying is? You know, praying is talking to God. It's a little different when we talk to God because we cannot see him, right? We cannot see him with our eyes, but we know he's there. And so uh, what we wanna do is to not get distracted uh, when we pray to him is that we close our eyes like this and we fold our hands like that. And that way we don't see anything and don't get distracted with our cute little eyes, okay? When we talk to him and we also fold our hands so that our hands don't get distracted with something else, okay? But then we can also bow our head. And when we bow our head, it really shows respect. Respect to God. God is the creator of everything. He deserves our respect. So we should give it to him. And we should show that by bowing our head, okay? So, are you ready for our book? Here it is. Let's read it together. I prayed for you. This book was written by Jean Fisher and it was illustrated, meaning the pictures were drawn by Frank Andersby, okay? Here we go. Before you were born, I asked God for something special. I asked him for you. Do you see the little bear? Before he was even born, his mama was praying for him. And this is what she prayed. Dear loving Father in heaven above, send a sweet baby for mama to love. Can you see how she's loving him? She loves her little bear. The first time I held you in my arms, you fell asleep all snuggly cozy. And I prayed. Mama prayed. Thank you, dear God, for this cute, cuddly bear. May my little one know your love is always there. Do you see how she is hugging her little baby boy? She prayed for him. She wants him to know that God is always going to be there. When you took your first wobbly little steps, I asked God to guide you wherever you go. And mama prayed. She prayed, God guide every step, every day, every year. Help this cup follow you and to you draw near. Do you see how the little bear is walking? He's taking his first steps. I remember when my girls, when my two children took their first steps, that was such a great moment that I like to remember. When you said your first prayers, your voice was like a song, the sweetest song I have ever heard. And God 
heard you too. And Mama Bear prayed. She prayed. Listen, dear Lord, as my munchkin prays. May this heart turn to you and love you always. I remember when my daughter prayed for the very first time. It was so special. Do you remember when you said your first prayer? You said your first no. <gasps> Did you hear that? The, the little bear said no for the first time when he should have said yes. But mama never stopped loving you. I asked God for help. And mama bear prayed. She prayed. Please help my child to learn what is good and to do what the dear little honey bear should. That's what she prayed to God. Do you see what's happening in the picture? Oh, it looks like her little son made a big mess, right? There's paint on the floor, water on the floor, all kinds of toys on the floor. Maybe mama asked him to clean it up. And he said, he said, no. But she still loved him and she prayed for him. The first time you saw a butterfly, it fluttered around your fuzzy head and it tickled your little round ears. You laughed and I prayed. She prayed, God, give this silly bear dances and wiggles the happiest fun and bundles of giggles. Do you see the little bear? There is a butterfly tickling his ear. Can you see? He's having a good time, right? He is having fun. And mama was praying for him. The first time you got hurt, I gave you the biggest, warmest, safest mama hug. And I asked God to make you all better again. And Mama Bear prayed. She prayed. God, whenever my sweetie pie hurts for a while, please change that sad face from a frown to a smile. Can you see what's happening in the picture? The little teddy bear, he's crying. What happened? You see the tricycle? I think he fell off his tricycle and he got hurt. What did mama do? She helped him and she prayed for him. On that day, when you first put your clothes on all by yourself, I was so proud of you. We sang and we danced and I said, thank you, God. And mama prayed. She said, prayed. Thank you so much, God, for each little blessing. Today, we are grateful for by myself dressing. Can you see what's happening in the picture? He is the dresser of the little bear and he put on his shirt all by himself. That was so special. Everybody is so happy about it. I remember when my daughter Emily first put on her pants by herself. That was such a special time. Then one day you were so brave. You spent the whole day at school without me. And while you were gone, I asked God to help you. Mama Bear prayed. She prayed. God, my little ones headed for classrooms and hallways. Please go with my pumpkin today and then always. You see the little bears? 
they're going to school and he's going right along with them all by himself without Mamai. Today and tomorrow, even when you're all grown up and I'm old and gray, never forget, precious child, your mama will always pray for you. Mama bears praying, dear loving father in heaven above, Thank you so much for this child, whom I love. Amen. See, he's going to bed and the mama is giving him a kiss. But she knows, even when he grows up, she will pray for him all the time. Even when he's a grown-up. That was my cute little book, I Pray For You. You know, in this book, the mama, she knew, she knew how important it is to pray for her child. She prayed for her baby boy before he was even born. She prayed for him when she held him in her arm the very first time. She prayed when he first started to walk. She prayed for him when he prayed to God for the first time. She prayed for him when he said no for the first time. She prayed when he was laughing and when he had fun, when he had a good time. She prayed for him when he got hurt. He needed prayer then. She prayed for him when he put on his clothes for the very first time all by himself. She prayed for him when he went to school for the first time without mama. And she will pray for him today and tomorrow and even when he is a grown up. How precious. This mama knew how important it is to pray for her child. Now, do you know what? I have a question. Do you know how important praying is? Do you pray? Do you pray for other people? Do you pray for your mommy and your daddy? Do you pray for your sister? And your brother? How about your grandma and grandpa? I'm sure grandma and grandpa are praying for you a lot. I know my grandparents pray for me a lot. Do you pray for your friend? You know, we can talk to God about anything. He wants us to pray for other people. God wants to hear from us and he is so happy when we talk to him, when we pray to him. The Bible says we should pray to God all the time and we should be happy and we should be thankful to God no matter what. There is a Bible verse that says that we should always be joyful. We should never stop praying and be thankful in all circumstances. Now, I want to teach you this Bible verse, okay? But before I teach you this Bible verse, I want you to meet my special visitor. He is my special visitor for today. Hi guys, my name is Marissa. <laughs> Maybe you'll remember Marissa. Marissa was here a few years ago at our church and she's gonna be here with me for a while. And hopefully you get to see her more often, okay? But we want to uh, learn the Bible verse together. So we're gonna start and I want you to repeat after us, okay? Here we go. Always be joyful. Say that with me. Always be joyful. One more time. 
Always be joyful. Great. Never stop praying. Again. Never stop praying. One more time. Never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances. Let's say that. Be, be thankful, thankful in, in all, all circumstances. circumstances. One more time. Be thankful in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you. Let's do it again. For this is God's will for you. One more time. For this is God's will for you. Great. And this Bible verse is in the book of Thessalonians. Everybody say Thessalonians. Mm -hmm. Chapter 5. Show me five fingers. Five. Five. Verse 16. Six fingers. And 18. Okay. So let's say that one more time, the entire Bible verse. And then afterwards, we're going to sing it. Okay? All right, let's do it. Always be joyful. Never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you. Great. Are you ready to sing the song with us? Okay, let's do it. Woo. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> okay. Ready. Always be joyful. Never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you. Always be joyful. Never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you. Always be joyful. Never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you. Always be joyful. Never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you. Always be joyful. Never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you. Always be joyful. I hope you liked our little song. This is what you can do to help you remember God's word by singing a song to it and that way you remember it better and hopefully it will get into your heart too, okay? Now we've talked about praying all this time. Don't you think we should pray? I think it's time to pray. Miss Maressa is gonna pray with us right now, okay? Here we so go. So excited, let's talk to God. Ready, let's close our eyes. Bow our heads to show respect and let's pray. Thank you, God, that we can talk to you at any time, that you hear us and that you're there for us in the good times and the bad times. It is all in your name. Amen. Amen. All right. Boys and girls, moms and dads, I hope you all had a great time. We see you all again another time. Until then, be safe and healthy and God bless. Bye.